Hi folks, it's Nick here again with another ZX Spectrum review for you. This one's on the ZX Spectrum 48K and it's Grand Prix Simulator, published by Codemasters in 1987. Also come out on the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad CPC. Does have a sequel, yes, it's called Grand Prix Simulator 2, which perhaps will come to in a, well, a few weeks time. We're going to be doing this on joystick, but it's over 14 tracks, which you probably won't get to completely, you race against one other car, if you come first you progress to the next track, you can pick up objects around the track for upgrades and, well, points mainly. And there's some great speech in this. Right, here we go. So I'm one of those green cars, I'm sure I work, yeah, I'm that one in the lead. The opponent's off to a very poor start. Mm, very small cars, but it doesn't control too badly actually. You can accelerate, decelerate, left, right, yeah, this controls quite well. So it's in the style of Super Sprint, a top-down racing game, and it's just, this is a, yeah, it looks quite nice. Engine sounds as you probably would expect. I do like those, whoops, I've got stuck. I do like those two cars on the top there, the McLaren on the left and the Ferrari on the right. Yeah, I looked at those and then crashed, admiring the scenery. Um, yeah, and I do like the time ticking up in the in the blue there with the white font. That's quite clever also. Now, can I catch up the computer? It doesn't look likely. I'll have a couple of goes at this, and if I don't get very far, because I want to show you at least a few tracks, there is a cheat I can type in and poke, so it doesn't matter where you come and you'll progress to the next race. But 1987, these reviews are all about seeing what the game plays like, what it looks like, and what it sounds like a lot of the time as well. So you can get a bit of an idea if you want to track it down or not, or did you think you missed out not having it as a kid. The last racing game we looked at was very recently on the ZX Spectrum. It was Turbo Kart Racer, which wasn't very good. Hopefully this is going to make up for it, and I think it's better here. They've gone back to basics, and um, yes, I've come second. <laughs> I really love this speech. How's the 48k doing this? Anyway, it is doing it. Um, excellent stuff. Press space to continue. A real nice game this one. Would be quite fun if there was a second player here, a human player, but they're not here. Yes, Nicky, you loner. Oh uh, well. Maybe one day I'll be invited on that show Go 8-Bit and I can play against a human person. That would be quite weird. Or maybe I could host it. Now I'm pushing it really a lot now. Three. Go. Go! Right, here we go. Right, let's win it this time. Taking all what we've learnt the first time. Bit of inertia as you go around the corners, so you can edge off the accelerator and just slide round. Three laps. Oh, come on, Nicky. Right, I've got a bit of a lead at the moment. Let's just hang on to this. I'm getting used to the controls quite well. So I'm a big fan of this game, actually. Did you have this one back in the day? Let me know. And um, does the sequel differ a lot from this, or is it more the same? So it doesn't take much practice, practice this, and you are, will start getting a bit better as I am doing. And I think um, it wouldn't take too many days for you to get to track 14. So it's not a championship as such, just come first each time and then progress to the next track in some sort of like arcade type action. Right, one lap left to go. Computer's a long distance away. So I can probably just take it easy around here, don't get too excited. It might be my imagination, but it looks like the computer gradually gets quicker from lap to lap. He's sliding around there. Let's get around this red oil slick. Oh, come on. Yep. Boom. I think that's it, isn't it? Or is it another lap? Yeah, I've done it. Good stuff. Car one, position one. Yay. Car one, position one. I've won. That's great speech, that. Much better than the current micro speech. How are they? Yeah, great. Right, so on to the next track. We're not hanging around. Go! No course designer on this one. I don't have the sequel had a course designer, but um, it'd be a bit of an ask. Right, so I'm in the lead again. So you start get off to a good start, and then the computer gradually wheels you in. Lots of tight bends on this one, and what I've, seems quite tricky straight away is that bridge in the way. So if you were... Uh, there's a small point of time where your car is not visible, so if you crash or get stuck underneath that, there's no way of getting out, which I'm sure is going to happen to me as I go round. Right. Nice straight here. We power on. So we've got a big healthy lead. As long as I don't get stuck, we should be good. Right, go through straight. Yeah, see, well, I don't know what's going on under that bridge. Well, I haven't come out the other end. Oh man, I'm stuck. 
I sort of like sense that was going to happen. So there's only four controls on this. Um, accelerate, decelerate, left and right. Oh, <laughs> there I am. Yeah, what what a boo-boo. I don't think we're going to win the race, folks. Yes. So I think it's time to put a poke in in a minute in the next race so we can see a few tracks at least. Then we'll get out of here. What's your favourite uh, game system on the channel? Is it ZX Spectrum? Is it Commodore, Commodore Amiga? Or is it something else? The Atari 2600 or Sega? Let me know, because I do try to focus. I have to use the amount of views and the likes on the video as a sort of like guide. And even dislikes sometimes, because it's all positive. Um, I'm trying to see what videos I should be doing. Uh, quite often I do an experimental video. Uh, and I just see how well that gets taken, but that's that's what you have to do to keep a channel going. Car one is out. Oh, right, okay. We come, we conquered. Game over. Right, let's put a poke in, folks. Poke being entered. Right, that should be in now. So we can come any distance we want, but I'll still try and win the races for sure. So one of us I presume is a McLaren, one of us is a Ferrari, I don't know which one's which, but let's just pretend we're a McLaren because that's my favourite race team, although I don't think they're going to be winning any races anytime soon at the time of recording. If they have won a race and you're watching this, let me know because I want to say whoopee doo. Uh, okay, I don't know if you're, you're typing that in from the year 2098 or something. Hopefully I'm still here as a, maybe a cyborg or a brain in a jar or stored on a hard drive somewhere or in some crazy robot. What a scary force for the future. Right, okay, so I think we've got this track done, haven't we? I'm doing better than before, I think. Ease off the accelerator around the corners, slide it around, maybe turn in slightly earlier than the bends there to get a bit of inertia, get round this red slick. Good. Buff. Round we go again. It's Charles play this Formula One. I don't know why they pay people millions and millions. Uh, it must scale down a bit, um, so if you're a Formula 1 team and you, you need me there for some reason to comment or run the stationary department uh, and you want to pay me something like, I don't know, half a million a year, I'm there for you. Uh, let me know and I'll, I'll come along. But I want travel expenses as well. Who won that? We still like cross the line at the same time. It says car 1 is out, but it isn't really, because there's a poke activated and we're on to the next race anyway. Two. Go! Floor it, big nose. So this is where we got stuck before. Let's try and win. Whoops, I lost sight of which car was me then. But we're taking a very roundabout route there. We're slightly in the lead. You need to carry a big advantage from the start, which we didn't. But Nick, don't get lost under the bridge this time. Just point the car straight and get out the other side, right? Don't do anything silly. Right, we've done it that time. Seem to have got a bit of a lead again over the computer, which is great. Right, okay, so we use that straight. We're like a straight ahead, aren't we? Right, so we're a whole straight ahead. We've exited that straight and he's just entered it. Some tight bends here. Oh, I entered that a bit crooked. Oh, I didn't think I was going to come out the other side there. A bit of oil to cause the car to slide in red. Yeah, I mean, for the size of the cars, this is one of the best um, top-down races I've played, or up, up amongst it there. Clever to get um, cars this small and to get the animation from them. It allows for a bigger track. They've got the width of that okay. The difficulty level is perfect, I would say. A real good game. As a kid, I would have got absorbed into this one and would have been playing it for quite some time. Yeah, thumbs up to this one. I love this game. Good stuff. It's a hidden gem, I think. It's a hidden gem. I mean, we covered a lot of the good Spectrum games already, so most of the time we'll be hitting mediocre ones, and then but we will occasionally hit into a good one, like a gem, an undiscovered gem, and that's what's good. We're treasure hunting, folks. Next race. A figure of eight, but a bridge over the top anyway. As I say, we're not going to do all 14 tracks here. I think we've got a pretty much good idea how this one plays, haven't we? So what do you think of it? Do you think it's good? Are you going to track it down? Let me know your experiences of it, or you might own it already. Have you played it on the Commodore 64 or Amstrad CPC? Let me know too. Maybe it's something I should track down. But yes, I'll have to um, get into the schedule to look at the sequel, Grand Prix Simulator 2, because I can't see how much different it'll be of this. Uh, hopefully they don't ruin it, but there's a shortcut here you can take. So hopefully they don't ruin it, but keep the, the gameplay intact. Right, so I'm a bit of a distance behind here, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. 
as Queen once sang, sang, nothing really matters to me. He's just a poor boy, nobody loves him. No, I won't do the rest of Bohemian Rhapsody song. We haven't got time for that thing. Yeah, so he's finished the race already. Car one is out. Well, we know better than that. He sounds like um, a prison warder from World War Two. Your car is out. Who is that fella? Off we go again. Uh, the tracks gets even more intricate as we get stuck on the scenery. Get off the bridge. Right, so we're already playing catch up here. Come on, let's reel him in. Reel him in. Where's his weak point? Okay, we must be quicker than him on the straight. Another one of these games I'd like to somehow break into and see the coding. But I, I, there's no way of doing that. The, car, the game is too advanced. Well, not with the stuff I've got anyway. Round here. Skids round. We're just slightly behind each time. I need him to make a mistake, get stuck on the scenery or something. But it's, it looks like it's me making the mistakes. I need to take tighter lines around the corners. You can decelerate the car, which I need to do more. There we go. Well, so I've got oh, I got stuck under the bridge again, didn't I? Man, you've blown it. I don't think I'd make a very good Formula One driver. First of all, I'm not strong enough or fit enough, and I'll probably crash off on the first bend. Um, that'd be quite boring. But I'd be probably slightly better on esports if they're different divisions. Esports Formula One. A glorious second place for me. So I've made it on the podium. Car one out. Right, I think we'll call this one the last track. This will be, looks quite interesting. Let's just see if I can win another one. Woo! Down, 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 down. Looks like there's a shortcut here, so it's going very, uh, very super sprinty, hot rodish. I'm in second place, so I need to do something pretty impressive to get into the lead. Right, let's get through here. Well, we get a bit stuck. I get a bit stuck as well. Right, we're going to need that shortcut, I think, that we spied early on. A quite obvious shortcut. Let's see if we break through. And we're through, and we're in the lead. Yes, in your face, computer opponent. Right, let's not muck this up as I get stuck. He's cutting me down a bit. Collected a spanner there through the oil. And now, ho oh man, hopefully the computer doesn't do the shortcut each time, because that can gain quite a bit of time. It's quite easy to get through it. There we go. Yeah, the computer doesn't do the shortcut. So this track's probably the easiest of them all he says, trying to keep in the lead. Yes, imagine a Formula 1 race where everyone knew a shortcut apart from one ri racer. That should do. Perfecto. The car never takes any damage. Car one, position one. Yay! Car 1, position 1. That should be the first track, I think. Yes, good stuff. So I think we'll leave that one there. Hope you liked having a look at that. That was Grand Prix Simulator on the ZX Spectrum, published by Codemasters in 1987. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. A huge thank you to everyone that comments or subscribes to the channel. If you haven't already and you like what you see, please consider doing so, because that's a huge, huge help in growing it. And uh, if you want to help a bit more, of course, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every bit of assistance is really helpful. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.